Hey, Mercy family. You know, just recently, our women's ministry had a special day. And we heard an incredible message, and it was really a great day. But one of the things that stood out to me was share your story. I think that we all have a story. My story goes back as a, as a kid. I went to church with my grandmother, uh, my family. My, my family really didn't go to church, but I'd catch a ride with Grandma, and I'd go over to church, and in that period of time, during those uh, formative years, those growing years, um, I heard the gospel. And it was because of my grandma, I really believe, taking me to church, hearing the gospel. And later in life, I was able, as a grown man, a preacher now, I was able to minister to my dad and uh, look at him and say, Dad, it's getting late. And I watched my mom and dad on uh, homecoming Sunday, October the 4th, I think it was, 1994, walk the aisle and give their heart and life to the Lord. Um, that's part of the story, but we all have a story. And we need to tell it. We, our children need to know it. Our family needs to know it. And I hope that in the coming days, I, I, there's so much to my story. In fact, I'm writing a story. But I just wanted to give you a snippet today that I'm thankful for those years when I was able to go with my grandmother. And I'm thankful for the time when I was able to see my mom and dad walk the aisle and give their heart and life to the Lord. You know what I'm expecting? Your family, as you share your story, I'm expecting it to affect your family and that they, too, will have a story. So start with your story. And in the days to come, Pastor Casey, we'll, we have a room set up where I'm at right now. And uh, we'll ask you, come share your story. You can do it just this quick, and it'll have a great effect. God bless you, and thank you for sharing your story.